Yo, I respectfully disagree podcast. Got a quick little uh, episode for the game. Come on, man. <sighs> How do I say goodbye? Got E with me, man. What's going on, bro? What's going on, man? I can't call it, man. They going home tonight or what? They going home tonight. If they don't go home tonight, they going home, what, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. It won't be no later than Wednesday. So that's what we're here to talk about real quick, man. Uh, Eastern Conference Finals, Western Conference Finals. Uh, before we get started, man, salute to Carmelo Anthony, a legend. Like, I told you earlier, bro, I really hate that he didn't go out in the proper fashion that he deserved. Right. And we all understand the politics of the NBA. But that's where I feel like social media had a big part of what happened to him in his career Mm -hmm. in terms of him, you know what I'm saying, being labeled as a damn near a cancer in the locker room and them pushing him out of the league in a sense when if you look at what's going on in the league now, Carmelo deserved to be – on the roster. Facts. And given 19 years to the NBA, he deserved to go out the same way of Paul Pierce or Kobe or any, you know what I'm saying, Dirk. He may not have had a championships or whatever, but nah, he was what, ninth all-time scoring? I think ninth. I know he was in top ten. Definitely know he was in – I don't know if he finished ninth or not, but I, he definitely was in the top ten. I do know that. So it's like, bro, like this, this social media era – so disrespectful to legends, dog. And I was talking to you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, with Joker wearing number 15. Yeah. It's like, do you just retire him as a Nick and call it a day? Or how 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 do you pay homage to him for what he done in Denver? Right. Because him and Kobe and him, nah, they was going to war, man. I know. They was going to war. I know. That's when basketball was basketball, not that bullshit we watching now. Shout out to Shaq on the live. You all think they would do Chris Paul like that. I think Chris Paul got a little bit more clout. Plus, ain't he the, the president of the of the Players Association? I think so, yeah. So, it's like, I don't see them forcing him out, but he's getting close. Eric, Eric you're in the playoffs, now. He, he coming up limp. He's getting close to it. But like I said, man, the Lakers getting ready to come on. Uh, I wanted to pay homage to to Carmelo real quick. Like I said, I, I really don't agree with how they done him. I mean, look at what they done to Dwight. <sighs> right now, the Lakers need Dwight Howard. I don't care what nobody say. They need Dwight Howard. Because Joe Lakers going home. They are. They going home, dog. Hey, you know what? Honestly, man, what? With how the season started, they shouldn't even be where they at right now. And like, that's what I want to talk about. Let's keep it a buck, man. I'm glad you went there. That's what I want to talk about. It's like, bro, these these expectations is so unrealistic. And I get it. I'm going to hold my guy accountable night in and night out. I've been sitting here waiting the whole entire playoffs to see typical LeBron. And that man ain't having maybe, what, one 30-point game? And you can see that it ain't there. Mm-hmm. I'm not going all the way to no foot injury, though. Now, that's the one thing you ain't going to hear from me. I've been seeing that a lot today, foot injury. Uh, yeah, I like, seen nah, Shannon don't do say that. that earlier today. Shannon had yeah. me hot. <laughs> I'm like, nah, don't don't do that, bro. It's, like it's, every year is something. It's That's some, it's some lugs, man. You wearing, <laughs> man? <laughs> <laughs> don't do me like that, it's dog. Some lugs, man. Nah, but it's just like <laughs> all jokes aside. Real quick before the game, come on, we gonna start in the West. It's like, like you were saying, the way the season started out, two and ten. Everybody with the Westbrook jokes, man. We done did endless episodes where we've been critiquing the Lakers and we saying that Westbrook was the problem, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, they made the moves. Brian got hurt. 
they was playing good basketball, but you still never really had any expectations. Mm -mm. So now that they done got past Memphis, they get past Golden State, which nobody expected. Nah, hell no. And now it's like, based on how the internet is reacting, everybody's supposed to be hurt by what's going on. Now, I ain't going to front and say that I expected them to get swept because that's far from it. I actually overlooked Denver, and that's where I'm going to give you credit because me and you was talking, and you was like, nah, bro, Denver's cold. Yeah, Denver the real deal. That's what I said, man. They they like Tim Duncan Spurs, man, with the de- less lesser defense. Defense ain't there, but, like, they so fundamentally sound, man. Like, they play great. Team ball and everything revolves around Joker. And I owe that man an apology, too, because before the end of the regular season, I was one of them like, bro, you talking about three MVPs in a row. And honestly, I think he got robbed. Now that I'm looking at it. Because if you if you look at if you look at the side by side stats with him and Embiid, Embiid just only got him in points. That's it. Yeah. Joke, joke out, rebound him. The assists ain't nowhere near each other. Like, we talking about a seven-footer that's damn near averaging Look, JoJo a double. Look, JoJo said he got robbed, too. Averaging damn near a double-double in assist. Yeah. And then on top of that, I think he may have played all 82 games. See, look, I didn't if know that If not either. that, I know it's in the 70s. I know that for a fact. Yeah. And but see, my my argument with that the whole entire time was it's like I look at the MVP from a traditional standpoint when even like back in the day when KG and Iverson them got theirs. Right. It's like, bro, they stood out that season. Yeah. They elevated their team. And that particular year it was like they had championship hopes based off of how this individual player carried the team throughout the year, and then once you got into the playoffs, like, Minnesota was cold that year. Yeah. Allen yeah. Iverson got all the way to the finals that year when he won MVP, and it was like, it was a magical season. And we've talked about it several times when it's like, all right, once you started giving them the Westbrook and Harden and all this and that, it's like, that's when everything started becoming stats. Mm-hmm. And that's why I was like, okay, you talking about Joker, who's getting ready to be Three in a row, when you look at it from a historical standpoint, would you put him in the same conversation as a Larry Bird? And I kept saying, hell no. Like, no. But now that I'm looking at what he's doing, I'm like, man. Joker going to arguably, when his career is over with, going to be top five center. You almost have to. Like, easy. You almost have to. Because you think about it. Shaq, Look, on, go Shaq ahead, go ahead. only got one MVP. Damn, you're right. Elijah Wine, I think one. Robinson, one. Ewing, none. And that's that's that that's what my argument was. It's like, bro, and it's like, all right, are we? I almost fall into that category. Of the, like these Jordan fans. Yeah, you looking at things from a child's lens. So you can't picture anybody being better than those players from that era. Right, 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 right. But then when you look at it, you're like, Dah, he, that man's beating Anthony Davis down the floor and cooking him. In the paint, too. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, bro, ain't no way Joke should shake Anthony Davis and have him up and down all off his feet. I'm talking about cooking him. And, and you know the crazy part is, bro, like when I look at Joker, man, and people – People may agree, people may disagree. But Joker looked like a skilled Dirk the Whiskey. That's fair. I can't argue it no more, man. That's fair. Like the only thing Dirk got on Joker is the jump shot. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, truth be told, you leave him out there wide well, open enough, he's going to stick yeah, it. He'll still knock it down. But when I look at him, because he, he, he's not fast, he beat the IQ. We were talking about that earlier. It's just the IQ just there, man. And that's what they don't teach no more. Yeah. These young players ain't got that. I'm Mm-mm. like, bro, I watched this man the other night. He cleared the board, 
He got it about midway through the paint and turned around. And I'm talking about pushed straight down the floor and was dishing like a guard. And I'm saying to myself, as slow as he is, it's like, how is he beating everybody down the floor, bro? And it's just like, that's crazy to me. Shout out to Shaq on the live. He said, tell your guys, stop shooting them damn threes. Man, We finna get there real whoa, quick, man. They said the game started in 20 whoa, minutes. I, <laughs> I'm finna hold my guy accountable, bro, because it's like, that's the one thing that I will say that I do not like about LeBron. It's like, bro, let your game speak for itself. So all year long, it's been, you know, year 20. You see the Father Time commercials, and I get it. It's yeah. your Nike ads. You're trying to sell a product or whatever. But I hate how he's always on social media. Yeah. Anytime you get a, a big dunk or a big play, he going and post itself on social media. And now that things ain't going in his favor, it's like, ah, oh, he's 38. He's in year 20. Like, nah, bro. Stop it. I'm not okay with that. It's I, funny to me how everybody – Say AD's carrying him and shit. I can't stand that either. I'm like, I, I can't even agree with that shit, man, because both of them playing terrible. So we going to hit the button on both of them then. I disagree. Because I agree with you. They both playing terrible. It's yeah. like there's no consistency whatsoever. Because, like, if you, if you break it down, man, if you look at it, if you look at both teams, man, even at a 38-year-old LeBron James 20 season in, I'm still picking him – to cook Denver. They don't have nobody to match up with him. I've been waiting for it for three games. You know what I'm saying? They have no one on that team to match up with his physical presence and, or nor his speed. And then you look at AD, like, let's keep it real, man. Like, Joker don't have the speed. He can't keep up with Anthony Davis. At all. But this motherfucker won't shoot 15 to 18 foot jump shots. Don't you know, want us back to the basket. None of it, man. Like, but uh, that, but but you know what? But that's when coaching matters yeah. because I'm saying to myself, I'm like, bro, Denver's packing the paint. So guess what? As long as you got D Lo that's in here shooting terrible, yeah, you got Vando on the court. Yeah. He's not an offensive threat. Uh uh-uh. uh. That allows Denver to pack the paint. So them first two series, like I was telling you earlier. When he was, he kept putting Beasley and Troy Brown them out there on the court in a series where, from a physical standpoint, they was a defensive liability. Yeah, hell yeah. Now is the the series where you're supposed to use them so they can stretch the floor and open up the lanes, and you got them buried on the bench. Mm-hmm. You waited all the way till game whatever it was to put Lonnie Walker in against Golden State. And it's like they should have been grooming him the whole year. I was like, bro, he yeah. was valuable to them from day one. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, bro, you should have had your rotation intact regardless of any trades or any of that. So come playoff time, we know what the regular rotation. I was like, bro, they just said tonight d ain't starting and Vando ain't starting, I don't think. And I'm like, bro, like <laughs> – you got to be part of the solution in terms of helping uh, your superstars get off. And when I looked at it earlier, I was like, okay, Minnesota got a game on Denver and Phoenix got two games off Denver. Right. You couldn't go back and look at any of that footage to see how they done it. I'm like that one game where Phoenix, that's the game Joker dropped 50. Yeah. Let Joker eat, bro. I, Control I, the shooters. Bro, I said that before the series even started, man. Let Joker do what he going to do. He going to do what he going to do regardless. You I gotta, don't care if he scores gotta, 60. You, you got to contain <laughs> Mary, man. Exactly. And then, like, what we was talking about earlier on the phone, I'm like, man, you, KCP out there balling, Gordon out there getting what he he's getting, uh, Porter getting what he's getting. What What's uh, Brown? I think it's Brown. Brown. Brown doing what he's Brown doing without a problem. Me. Like. Man, if, if if they can contain Porter Jr. and KCP, I'll live with Joker doing 40, let Brown shoot all day. Brown been getting to the cup. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's, hell yeah. that's been a lot of Easy. his contribution. Yeah. He's getting fast break, wide open layups and backdoor cuts and all that. Cut all of that off and live with whatever Joker going to do. Mm-hmm. And the crazy part about it is game three, 
he had a semi bad game. In foul like trouble. he was having, he had garbage points at the end of the game. Yeah, and that's how you knew it was just like, all right, man, Denver just the better team. But going back to LeBron real quick, it's like this whole playoff run. I just been waiting and waiting because at the beginning of the year when he was chasing Kareem, he was going out there getting buckets, mm-hmm. and that's why I'm just like, okay, he in the shooting slump or whatever. Keep getting to the rim. Eventually he'll come out of, but it's like I'm looking at bro just standing in the corners now. Yeah, he just standing on the wings, and I'm like, that's why I had a bone to pick with with the Laker fans and this and that. No disrespect, because I'm like, all right, all year long, everybody was like, they want LeBron off the ball. Now that he's off the ball, it's like, LeBron got to take over. He got to do this and do that. I'm like, bro, which one is it? Yeah. Because truth be told, that stretch when his foot was hurt and the ball was moving, and you don't see that right now. Nah, hell nah. Uh Uh-uh. So I'm like, I don't know what happened, but the, the ball ain't moving. So it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't. But I will say that he ain't playing to the level that most expected. Mm-mm. So do you feel like that's that's your twenty talking? Yeah. yeah. Like I ain't yeah, trying to give him yeah, no yeah, excuses not, or yeah, nothing. I'm not. Yeah. He he's he's gas. He's running on fumes, man. Like I told you, I was like, bro, yeah. people don't. Don't think about it. Back to back, every other game, every other day, the Lakers ain't had a break since that first series. Mm-mm. You're right. Golden State was every other day. Now Denver's every other day. And like I told you, even when Phoenix was playing Denver, they had an extra day in there. The only thing that I can think of about that is the fact that, you know what I'm saying, Memphis is on the other side of the country. Yeah. That, that, that can be the only – Thing that I can think of, but outside of that, yeah, they ain't. That it's every other day. Cause hell, when when uh when they lost game two, I'm like, well, shit, we gonna we gonna go back home when when Sunday. Y'all don't play Sunday. Y'all play Saturday. I'm like, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, bro, I was like, we both. How old are you? Forty. You forty. Yeah. I'm thirty eight. I'll be thirty nine. Again, I'm not comparing us to no NBA players or nothing like that. <laughs> Shout out JoJo. She said he's tired. AD needs to show up. Facts. Um, but I'm saying to you, I can't speak for you. I'm going to speak for myself. Okay. Even when we was hooping a couple months ago, shout out DJ, who was getting the the, the, the gym. It started out 30 and up. Yeah. Going there, hoop with our peers, play for about three or four hours. I come home. Got to pop ibuprofen. <laughs> Got to let the knees soak, do all that. My knees might flare up from Sunday, clear up till maybe Wednesday. Yeah. And I'm walking around the house gingerly, yeah. stiff. Yeah, yeah. And I'm saying to myself, bro, it's like, I don't care how much money he invests in his body or none of that, dog. He's still 38. Can't be Inflammation time. is real. Yeah, never be father time, man. Not to mention, you can tell my boy lungs was burning up yeah. in Denver, dog. Yeah, yeah. Them yeah, lungs was on fire. Air, 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 super thin, boy. My like, man, I went up to go dunking and Plum lost the whole <laughs> ball, man. Golly. Yeah, yeah but, he he definitely gassed, man. It's it's look, they they showing the sass now 23 and said like that. Stop. 23, 9 and 10. And we got it up on the playing, screen. And he playing 41 minutes at 38. They expecting that man to step in the phone booth, dog, and come out like Superman. That's why I, I've been watching what I say online because, like I said, I feel like at this point it's just the norm to jump on social media and talk crazy. Throw out the memes, throw out the jokes. And like I told you earlier, I was like, bro, I'll sit down and talk basketball with anybody as long as we strictly talking basketball, save right. all your jokes and save all your whatever. Like we literally breaking down what we see in the game. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to hear all that other BS. If it was Jordan, if it was Kobe, like shut up because we saw Kobe a year 20. Yeah. No disrespect to Kobe, but it's like, bro, we saw that. Yeah. We saw Mike with the wizards. 
But yeah. y'all want to compare Mike with the Bulls to year 20 LeBron. Oh, yeah. Like, come on, bro. It don't even make sense. Not at all. All I ask for, man, is this motherfucker stop shooting the three, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, like bro, I didn't even know the stat until I saw it and I had to pull it up myself. And I'm like, bro, this nigga's literally O for whatever. He set a record for the Denver, most consecutive bro. misses. And I'm and he kept on jacking them up. And that's why I wrote what I wrote on my page, bro. I'm like, man, dear coat of LeBron. Can y'all please tell this man stop shooting the three-pointer, bro? Even when he knocked down us two back-to-back, I was still like, stop shooting that motherfucker, man. Right. But like right. I told you, the shots that he was taking was was at a terrible moment yeah. in the game. And I think that's that's the part that people are, are – I feel like they're aware of it, but only a few people understand the significance but, of when he took them shots. But the crazy part of it, him and AD, they do the same shit. AD do that same thing. He takes shots that he shouldn't even fucking take. Look, I tell you who else. And look, all y'all Louisville folks that's listening or watching, don't get mad at me. I don't know D-Lo, D-Lo like that. D-Lo too. Uh, I've watched him come down. It's three nuggets in the paint. Dribble, dribble, fade away, throw up something, and there's not a Laker in sight to Mm-mm. rebound the ball. Joker get it, push, and go the other way. I'm like, these supposed to be professional athletes, bro. Like, do y'all not understand shot selection matters? Mm-hmm. Like, you can't come down in a two-point game and jack up some BS, and then they come down and hit a three. Now, guess what? You down five. And that's why I was just like, bro, Bron. I I would respect the shots more if it was more like a momentum-type deal or a heat check. Mm -hmm. Then I respect it a little bit more. But when y'all when they just come down and just shoot some bullshit, man, I'm like, oh my god, ain't nobody like, even I, I, close I to swear, man, I position. wanted to cut that game off so bad, dude. Game three, I'm like, dog. Man, I've been this, sitting there torturing myself through it all. This can't be happening right now, man. Like, no way. Like, but any, that's fatigue. Anybody that watch basketball, man, if you paid attention to this series, man. The Lakers should easily be up two one. If not three zero, if not three zero, facts. They they could have stole game one, and like I told you, I was like, I feel like you know it, and I know it. When you start settling for long shots, bro, that's fatigue. Hell talking. yeah! Game one, he had Murray with five fouls, and I feel like it's a lot different than if you go back to that uh, play with the J.R. Smith where he threw it into George Hill. Yeah. They had KD on one elbow, Draymond on the other elbow. So, in my opinion, the driving lane wasn't really there, per se. Right. A lot of people was like, oh, he should have drove. Denver game one, that lane was wide open. Murray's not stopping you, bro. Mm-mm. Get to the cup, man. Try to get fouled. And he settled for that shot. I'm happy one step closer to getting him out of a Lakers uniform so I can actually cheer for him again. Damn, that's cold. I totally disagree. <laughs> they only had a chance game two. Come on, Gerard. Stop it, man. They had battled back. They cut that all the way down to what, two? It was two before yeah. LeBron took that shot, yeah, right? Yeah, game one, yeah. It's a two-point game with 50 seconds left, and AD and Braun was getting anything they wanted in the paint. Come on, coach. Shout out to Gerard on the mic, man. Come on, now. They could have stole game one. Game two, they was in control. Like I said, I, I'm i still mad because Brian yeah. messed up my ticket, bro. Yeah, even even how that game one was played, like they, they and they battled back the way they did, they could have stole game one. And then game two, they just completely tricked that game off. Meltdown, man. Completely tricked that game off. But that's what had me hot because I'm like, bro, how many times y'all going to go under the screen on, on this pick and roll and leave Murray with a clean look. You chasing Porter and go under. I'm like, his whole bag, Michael Porter Jr., is catch and shoot. Uh huh. He ain't even got to be squared up to the basket, no nothing. I'm talking about off balance, catch and shoot, letting yeah. it fly. And I'm looking at them just trailing, chasing yeah. the play. I'm like, dog. I was like, bro, I don't get it. It don't make sense. Yeah. And it's, it's several coaches on here. Shout out to Brandon. 
from Beast Beast Podcast. Shout out to my guy Gerard down there in Lexington, bro. It's like, I hope y'all ain't teaching these kids that, bro. You fight through the pick, especially if you know they're a shooter. We was always told to fight through the pick. Bro. Never go under. And these the pros that I was just like, nah, you done let Murray get hot. And then after game three, once he saw two or three of them go in, mid-range, three-point, yeah. it didn't even matter no more. He was just having his way, man. Memphis yeah. and Golden State didn't have five players who could score at all times. Denver has five. That's a fair assessment. I'm not disagreeing with that. And that's oh, what whoa, we whoa, sitting there whoa, talking whoa, about. Who, 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 huh? Shout out to my guy, Dry. He said Memphis and Golden State didn't have five players who can score at all times. Denver has five guys that can score. I can't agree with that with the Golden State one, man. Because you got – they just had bad shooting games. Poole, Carey, Thompson, Wiggins. And then, hell, you can even throw Draymond's ass in there. No, nah, I ain't putting Draymond in there. Draymond ain't – Draymond been scared to shoot these last I mean, couple he, of years. I mean, he has been, but, like, and then on, that's I why mean, they, we know what type of play he is, And then though. Gary Payton Jr., they, they left Gary Payton yeah. Jr. open. That's why they switched off of Looney. I can see where he's going. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, but I but mean, it's like even Memphis, even with Gordon, if you leave Gordon open enough, you, yeah. he gonna let it fly. Memphis, I agree with, but I can't fully agree with that Golden State one though, man. Steph, Clay, Wiggins, Poole, and even Poole shot horrible. Yeah, right? Man, man, man these playoffs been so wild, he man. Gave, he gave Ice Spice, I, whatever girl name is, <laughs> at five hundred K shopping spree. But it's just been like, bro, like, I've just been sitting here dumbfounded because I just, like, maybe my expectations is just unrealistic because you just been waiting for Braun to just, all right, he coasting. Fourth quarter come, he going to do what Braun does, and it ain't there. Mm-mm. It ain't been there. So, real quick for the game start, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be shocked. It's going to depend on how this first quarter go because – LeBron is known for once he gets to about 10 or 12, he going to check out. Okay. I hope that ain't the case because they going to run him out of L.A., bro. Stressing that guy out, man. He got the side on top of his head turning gray and shit, <laughs> man. Damn, <laughs> man. He's out there stressed. That's boy. why I hate these. Lord. these I hate these internet people, bro, because it's like they expecting LeBron to drop 70. He had that stress, boy. AD and Bron got to score 40 each. And honestly, bro, I think that's why Denver was able – not Denver, Phoenix was able to get those two games. But see, What did I tell you, though? I said, I said the only way Denver's going to be able to be uh, – not Denver, Phoenix is going to be able to contend is if KD and Book score 40 apiece. You did say that. I said that's the only way because they don't have no bench. CP3 gone. You see what you was getting from Aiden. Right. Nothing. But see, the thing is, Booker and KD was getting buckets from all over the court. I know. Brian and AD only going to cook you within 10 to 12 feet. Yeah. And then they, so yeah. that's the difference because Denver packing the paint, bro. That's why I was just like, <sighs> cut my guy some slack. Yeah, hey, good, hey, good, yeah. They got your fan, man, Jay Dilla on here. <laughs> man, that's Eric Cartman, man. I ain't listening to nothing he's saying. Now, the Celtics down 0-3 and the Lakers down 0-3, but he online bashing LeBron. That's a smooth transition before this game come on, man. Last yeah, night you know shocked what? me, yeah, I, dog. Forgot, I forgot that he is a – I wasn't shocked with Miami beating Boston. I mean, the way they did, yeah, but, man. I... If somebody asked me a week and a half ago – I would have said Boston was going to sweep them folks, man. I, I'm 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 going to say this, and I hope your wife is not looking at my life. She probably <laughs> is. I don't know. But first and foremost, Boston ain't ready. They first, ain't been ready. Even, even, with them, even with them going to the finals and losing to Golden State, was it last year? Yeah, it was yeah, last year. They not ready. They remind me of they the, they the East version of the Grizzlies. They're not ready. Memphis ain't going to never make it past the first round. I don't want to say they're not ready, bro. Boston has been a top contender in the East for the last five that, plus years. That, that's true. That is true. That they is ju- true. Ju- they just ain't good. When 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 the moment get here, they don't show up. And I told y'all, I don't know what episode it was. I was like, bro, I sat down. I was just watching Boston. I was like, bro, I don't recall them shooting all these threes like that. And that, to me, is their downfall. Like, when Boston was competing with the Cavs before LeBron left, they was getting downhill, getting to the cup, doing everything around the rim. 
And the other night, last night, bro, all five Celtics were just standing on the perimeter. I'm like, what is this? He said Bron and AD supposed to be top five. <laughs> LeBron is not top five, bro. Stop it. What, in the league today? Nah, hell no. Nah. That's still Dilla talking? Yeah. yeah. Bron is not top five, bro. Like, stop it, man. I, I'll even go as far as the the bottom, I don't even want to say top ten. If we really gonna be honest, you can sit down and, and come up with a list of ten players better than LeBron. I don't care what the numbers say. LeBron can't influence a win at this stage in his career. Yeah, you can't get a ball to LeBron and tell everybody to move. He can hit some key shots in key moments, but even that comes in spurts. Yeah, like stop it, bro. And that's what I'm saying with these internet folks. And shout out Clyde. I hope he's still watching. I've been meaning to talk to you because he's one of them Jordan people too, dog. And I was just like, I don't dislike Mike. I just hate how it don't matter what, man. Jordan would have done this. Jordan would have done that. Stop it, man. The, the thing that I hate because I've been saying it, in this, it in this damn group that I'm in is that everybody said, well, Jordan had Scotty and Rodman. Then they said, uh, Joker got um, they named Porter of all people said Porter and Mary LeBron ain't got no help so then I'm 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 like hold the fuck up now nah I ain't going that I'm far. like so AD's a bum now that's what I'm saying I ain't going I ain't going to the extremes to say Bron ain't got this might be the most complete team Bron done had in a minute in terms of depth wing defending yeah. like. Austin Reeves and Rui, like, what more can you ask for if you got two players they, that give you 20? They better bring them two back. If they don't, man, I, I might not watch the game next year, man. Nah, They're they going to have to cash I, I, out I, Reeves I've seen, sure. seen today that they, they can uh, – they can sign Reeves and get Kyrie. And I honestly, want Kyrie. I've been begging honestly, for Kyrie. I'm like, if Kyrie get that boy, 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 book it. That's number, what, eight, 18 or 19 or whatever? And honestly, I thought that's what you know how everybody been talking about the script here. I was like, nah, they setting this up for for the Lakers versus Boston. Yeah, yeah. And they done hit us with the okie doke. Yeah. Like I said, man, the game getting ready to come on. I didn't want to uh, take up too much of your time, bro. Now nah, uh, we good because you know, like I said, man, if if, if we somehow win today, we'll lose Wednesday. Boston's getting up out of there tomorrow, so it's well. Yeah, Boston gave up. Yeah, Denver well having about, five man. scores forces Bron to exert himself more on the defense. Bro, when I saw him trying to guard Murray the other night, that's when I gave up. I was like, bro, there's no way and no reason under the sun that you asking somebody in year 20 at 38 years old to guard the hottest man on the court, and he's a guard. That's crazy, dog. Like, nah, bro. I don't care about no Jordan. I don't care about no anybody like Kobe, <laughs> none of that. Kobe in year 20 was not going to check the best player on the other team. I'm sorry. Nah, hey, ain't nobody in their right mind in year 20 is going to check the best player on the, on, on the team. And those are the unrealistic expectations that you set on a player. And that's why I'm telling people, I don't care what nobody say. Because I'm going to keep 100 with you. If I, if I played 20 years in the league, by year 14, I have nothing else to prove. Facts. Anything after that, I don't have. If if I if I can win a couple more championships, cool. But you're 15 to 20, I have nothing else to prove. Bro, they was just debating that before this game even started. Will Bond and Stephen A., what does this loss, what is this going to do to this? And I'm like, bro. Hey, we go with this legacy bullshit, That's man. crazy, man. That's crazy. But anywho, like I said, I didn't get to touch on Boston like I wanted to. Boston so we, ain't shit. So we're going to we revisit gonna, this. Yeah, Boston ain't shit. We're going to revisit it soon. Probably get barred, barred from the house by saying that, but, yeah, they ain't, they ain't shit, man. But I was just like, nah, they're going to have to do something with, with Tatum or Brown. Like, both of them can't be on the same roster, dog. They get in each other's way. Close out. You said Giannis terrible. didn't accept the Butler challenge. Is that any different because he's younger? Ooh. So you telling me that LeBron was supposed to go check Murray? Giannis is in year, what, nine, eight? Maybe 10 at the max. Giannis is in peak form, and he's given up five inches on Jimmy Butler. And if you go back to my podcast, bro, I didn't say he was supposed to shut Jimmy Butler down, make his shots more difficult. Uh-huh. 
you ain't gonna tell me that a defense look, y'all love hanging y'all hat on that Jordan one defensive but, player of the year. But Giannis we, is a defensive player of the year. But can we say that same thing about cause he didn't do the same shit with uh Kawhi? Who? When they won the championship. Who? Uh Giannis. Hold on. Kawhi cooked them that whole series. I'm gonna have to he, go back. Is he saying remember. like accepting the challenge to defend? No, he's saying that. When they lost, right. and I made the podcast saying that Giannis, them last two games, when Jimmy Butler dropped 100 points, he should have been I the said primary Giannis defender. should have said, you know what, yeah. I got him. Yeah. When the lead was going away. I didn't even say he had to guard him the whole game. At least LeBron tried to go out there and guard him. I mean, It's that, like, come on, bro. I mean, I, I can take it a step further. And we Giannis is seven foot. Bro, he's athletic. He's we, an athletic seven foot. What you mean? We can leave it at that because you remember. I don't know if you remember that series, but I can go all the way back to 91 when Magic was cooking Jordan. And guess who they put and on And we him. know Jordan didn't want none of that smoke. Hey, guess who they put on? And guess who they put on Magic? We know Jordan didn't want none of that smoke. Look, LeBron already laying down. Get ready. Yeah. Give him CPR, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like I said, I ain't going to be on here long because I'm trying to watch the game, man. Oh, Lord, he done got this dunk block and then laid down dying. <laughs> Just go lay the ball up, man. Now, you know what, now, all jokes aside, man, we, we got to have this conversation because that's why I'm telling you. It's like when I get on Facebook and I'm sitting here talking, I'm making posts as I'm as watching, watching the, the game. game. Yeah, Yeah, I know that. So it's like to somebody that comes in and they just sitting here reading it, it may not make sense. Or it's like, oh, he's talking crazy. I'm like, bro, Milwaukee was up 16 points. Once Jimmy Butler started being aggressive and you start watching your lead dwindle down, your best player is supposed to say, you know what? I got him. You don't go to the podium and say, well, I'm listening to the coach, and the coach said, no, no fuck no. <laughs> Hell no. I'm sorry, bro. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, you gave Giannis a pass, but I've been watching you these first three games, bro. You you on LeBron bumper heavy. I don't know if that's some of that Jordan bias mixed in or not, but, but it's, it's like. But it's kind of like with Boston, though. Like, who's their best defender? Because it's like Jimmy's cooking that yellow nigga, man. I'm pretty sure didn't Marcus Smart win a defensive player he, of the year? Actually, he did. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, bro, them, them awards is yeah, tainted. Yeah, he Them did. awards is You're fool's right. gold, he bro. He did. He did. Don't nobody want to go. I'm like, first of all, and after this, we done. I watched Jimmy Butler game two when him and of Williams. This, of this series. Of this series. Okay. Ah, the last when they was in Boston. Yeah, when they was in yeah, Boston, yeah, yeah. Miami sent four players to one side of the floor and gave Jimmy the whole side to operate. Mm -hmm. And Boston allowed it to happen. How many points does Jimmy get to score before y'all send a body at him? And it's crazy because you know what? I don't know who the fuck was commentating that game. They kept on saying, "Why the hell they not double teaming Jimmy Butler?" I'm like, they did, kept saying it the whole time. I'm like, did y'all not watch the Milwaukee series? He, he didn't even put up big numbers, in my opinion, against the Knicks. He played like a superstar, but he didn't have a, a 40, 50-point performance. He didn't have to. It didn't require it. But it's like, okay, Boston just going to give him this whole – I was like, bro, that's almost like one-on-one -on -one scrimmage practice. Basically, yeah. Y'all give LeBron that kind of room. We ain't even having this conversation today. <laughs> LeBron ain't never had that luxury, bro. They gave him the whole side of the floor to operate. That's why I'm like, nah. I'm just being realistic at this point. Like you said, Bron doesn't control the outcome. Yet at the end of the Golden State series, you you mentioned how he does. Oh, my God. Yep, that might be my cue to leave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. Because my conversation wasn't, E, you sitting right here. <sighs> in that game, Ooh. in the second half, they put the ball in LeBron's hands. Yeah. They took D'Lo off the ball. They took Schroeder off the ball. And LeBron kept getting Curry in a pick and roll. And depending on how they defended it, he made the extra pass to the corner, three ball. He drove through the lob up, AD. Yeah. If they didn't switch nothing, he came across the paint and got a bucket. That's controlling the game. Yeah. I don't know any other way to define it. You give the ball to somebody who controls the tempo. If I want to go fast, we're going to go fast. If I say slow it down, we're going to slow it down. That's full, complete control of a basketball game. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Correct me where I'm wrong. Dilla ain't making it no better. No, Har- stop Har- it. Harper's favorite words, LeBron never had that luxury. <laughs> that is my favorite word because you tell me a time. Look, we can go look up any Jordan highlight in the world. How many times have you seen Jordan get the whole side of the floor? A lot. Too many damn times. In today's NBA where they can zone, they have the option to zone. You ain't never seen a superstar player get the ball and get the whole side of the floor to operate. Mm-mm. Whether it's KD, Kyrie, whoever. Jimmy Butler had the whole side of the floor to cook Grant Williams. Yeah, and he cooked that boy. Too, Stop boy. it. He cooked that. So that was just that game. That's yeah. been LeBron's whole career, dog. What are you talking about? Look, y'all finna get me started. I'm sorry, E. I'm sorry, E. I've been wanting to have this conversation anyway, dog, because I'm saying to you, when I made that post that night, I said, F them six rings. Yeah. In terms of every time you have this debate about Jordan versus LeBron, it's everybody really, says the really end all be all is six it's rings. Six rings, yeah. And I'm like, bro, we're talking strictly basketball. Player versus player and how they inf- impact and influence the game. Mm-hmm. 48 minutes, what was your impact on the game? And I've seen this man time after time clear the boards, slow everything down. He's the puppet master of all of it. Shumpert, go here. J.R. Smith, go there. Tristan Thompson, stand right here. Give me a pick and roll. And he's dissecting and come down. I was like, bro, that's why I shared that story uh, Shumpert did the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, yeah. I'm like, bro, that's the evidence of what I'm talking about. I didn't need Shumpert to tell me that. I'm watching it. I'm like, Jordan ain't never been asked to go get the boards, bring the ball up the floor, tell Pippen them where to go. All Jordan had to do was go down there and get to his spot. Yeah. Be ready to hit this fadeaway, turn around. If they W, be ready to kick the curve so he can hit the shot. Dump down to Luke Longley if they W so mm-hmm. he can get an easy put in dunk. Yeah. Stop it, man. We looking at two different things, obviously. We go to live. Mm. <sighs> there you go. Yep, yep. Like I said, I ain't mean to get off yep. sidetrack, yep. dog, yep. but it's like, I've I've told you, I'll sit down and talk basketball with anybody, but don't talk to me about no internet talking points. If we're going to break the game down and break the game down, don't regurgitate to me what the internet said. What Jay Dillow over there talking about? He said, Har- Har- Harper's pain is my joy. Hey, man. He, Look, he, we're going to enjoy this couch he, together. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of got like a sick fetish, man, right there, man. Nah, he's a LeBron fan. He don't even <laughs> realize it. And man, yeah. look, I ain't even have kids when he would start talking about LeBron. Oh, wow. Aubrey just turned 11. That man been talking about LeBron for 11 plus years, as far as I know. That's when I know something wrong. <laughs> something wrong. <laughs> but anyways, man, I'm finna jump into this game, man. Hopefully they got a little bit of fight in them. Uh, KCP torching him. That's my ticket right there. I took him over one and a half, three. So yeah, he keep shooting. He gonna get it. Yeah. Keep shooting. I he just, he got. I think he just hit the last one. I just wish he was working with Lethal Shooter, man. When he was playing with LA, man. God That's the damn, difference, dog. Shout out Lethal Shooter, man. man. See, look what what did I what did I tell you earlier? That's all he had. To, that's all he got to do. Bully your fuck. And remember how I always told you, one dimensional. He got. He's one dimensional. Bully your fucking way to the goddamn basketball realm, man. This isn't my position because I believe the same can be said in football when it comes to Peyton and Brady. It's not about rings solely, yet MJ and Bron are not the same in how they play. So, hold on, hold on. Is he still on there? Yeah. Because remember, we had that conversation. and And I told you... I don't care how many rings Brady got or the the uh, the records. I always felt Peyton Manning Peyton was Manning better. Peyton is the better quarterback because when you can take, he basically made coal into diamonds. Facts. That's, every, uh, that's every, been my every, take, bro. Everywhere he's played, every receiver he's thrown to, they was trash before he got there and they became Pro Bowl receivers. That's always been my angle. I'm like, bro, I'm not diminishing championships because at the end I, of the I, day, that I'm is not, the goal. And I'm not going to disrespect Tom Brady like that, but can nobody, nobody can tell me Tom Brady is better than fucking Peyton Manning. If you give Peyton Manning those defenses Tom Brady had, Peyton Manning be sitting on five or six NFL uh, Super Bowls. Fact. Easy. 
Mike was a scorer first. We both agreed to that. That's that's all I'm saying. I'm like, bro, Mike's job was to score. He's a two guard. Now, early in Mike's career, he was asked to do more than that. He was asked to, you know what I'm saying, turn water into wine with them early Bulls rosters. But y'all saw it didn't equate to winning. Mm-mm. He got right. MVPs, defensive player of the year, all that. It did not equate to winning. Once he started winning and he got on the field, Jackson, and they brought that triangle in and they started bringing in Pippen and Horace Grant and they gave him solid guard. I never said he had Hall of Fame point guards. He had somebody that ran the point guard position and was ready to knock down shots if he had to kick back out. Facts. I'm saying to you whether that's LeBron's style of play that that hinders that aspect of it, LeBron ain't never had that. LeBron was the one who made everything work. He was the one kicking to the shooters, and if he needed to go get you 40, he was going to go get you 40. That's why I like LeBron because he's a jack of all trades. If you like Mike because he gave in a, a performance – and entertained you, then that's your preference. I'm not here to argue that. That's your personal preference. But when we start talking about head-to-head, who's the better basketball player, I'm going to debate with you all day long. Oh, Lord, LeBron. Yeah. So, Pete is first of all, Jay Della said uh, Schroeder's underrated. He's hot garbage. He's but, terrible. And then, then here go the question. I'm not even going to answer this question. Tell Jay Dill, wasn't, wasn't Schroeder just in Boston before y'all got rid of him and sent him back to L.A.? He asked who had all-star help, more all-star help, LeBron or Mike. Everybody knows if you – if you the, the, the players that LeBron played with over his career, everybody knows that his teammates got more all-stars. We know that. The 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 name had the an name. all-star. Yeah, you, we, you we have know to that. look at where they were – in their career at that point when they joined his roster. Yeah, I Shout mean, out to Clyde yeah, once we, again because he named Shaq. Shaq was in year 19 right. when he came to Cleveland we, and averaged like 13 points and got hurt. We we know like if you if like if you just go about the name, then yes, LeBron played with more all star help. We know that, but if you talking about strictly him pl- them playing together, how many all star appearances do these players have? Right. And after this, we done because I'm trying to watch it now. Um, what you also have to take in consideration, I feel like a lot of people leave out, similar to Golden State, Chicago Bulls built that. They drafted Pippen. Yeah. They drafted Horace. Yeah. They traded for Cartwright. Uh, Paxson was already there. Yep. So it's like you built that from the ground up, and they became a dynasty. Right. LeBron ain't never built through no draft because as soon as he got there by year three, they, they, was they had already – they wasn't even getting no picks like that. They wasn't getting no lottery So picks. now you asking free agents to come to Cleveland. Nobody in their right mind was going to do that. Nah. So nah. then you get Antoine Jamerson and people like that, bro. They wasn't finna go up against Boston with KG and all of that. Nah, hell nah. Not to forget that those were the years Gilbert Arenas and all – that. first of all, prime Jamerson was with Gilbert Arenas. Yeah. So it's like, stop it, dude. Like, you asking him to go up against Tim Duncan, Parker. Uh, who else was on that team? Ginobili, Bruce Bowen. Uh, With Ilgowskis. Uh, uh, who else was I out there, say bro? Malik Rose might have been on that team still. Kyrie, AD, Bosch, Wade, all of them made it with him multiple times, talking all-stars. Nobody's disputing that, bro, but you got to put into context how all of that came about. Y'all tell a man that he was supposed to stay in Cleveland. If he stays in Cleveland, none of that happens. Kyrie ain't there. None of that's what I'm saying. None of that happens. So you you have to weigh the whole situation and look at it from a realistic standpoint. That's why you'll never hear me piss on anything that Steph Curry has accomplished because they built it from the ground up. That core of Curry, Clay, Draymond, that's homegrown. Mm-hmm. That's why people was pissed off at the KD thing because it's like y'all don't even y'all was already good enough with the first championship team when they was going 10 deep. You took out five and brought in five more and there was no drop off. I was at them games watching LeBron get cooked, man. I'm like, dog, that that matters. Yeah. That matters. And after this, we we really done. Cause you the Laker. Think about Shaq, 
Kobe, Fox, Fisher, Ori. Who else was on them teams? Horace Grant eventually came. We had Glenn Rice. We had uh And for the most part, <sighs> during them runs, y'all kept that intact. Yeah. Y'all kept five or six solid core pieces intact. Yeah. LeBron ain't never had that. Yeah, because when we when we had when we won our uh when we went uh Last three, Pete, by the way. Um, when we won those three, yeah, we pretty much had the same fucking roster outside of. Clear up to the year y'all like went for Glenn, Gary Payton yeah, and Glenn all of Rice. them. Like, yeah. And like even we, that, it's like, bro, I'm not going to say, oh, man, y'all had Carl Malone, Gary Payton. Bro, they was at the end of their man, career. They, like I, and I keep saying it till this day, man, Gary Payton wasn't the glove. He was mitten. And, <laughs> and, and, and uh, Carl Malone, mail man, he he was working at the desk, man. He wasn't out delivering no mail, man. That's okay, all I'm saying. It's like, bro, like, you know, it, it, have it, a realistic conversation. Trying, like, context fuck, matters. He trying to fuck with my guy's wife on the low and shit, man. You know, but context it, matters, yeah, man. man. Like, stop it, bro. And this ain't just me trying to take up for LeBron because if anybody hadn't known by now, I'm gonna call a spade a spade. Yeah. If he's playing trash, he's playing trash. This season, this year. I feel like this is the most complete roster he's had in a long time. Yeah. I'm very disappointed that they down 3-0. And I, I'm going to honestly say the year that we won in the bubble. That roster was cold. That was a nice roster, but even with that, I feel like they had a lot of vets. Yeah. In terms of right now is when they need to white. Oh, honestly, because yeah. AD him ain't in, no five, him bro. Him McGee. AD's not a five. And you can tell because he don't want no smoke with Joker. Nah. I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure AD can jump higher than Joker. So quit trying to body with him and meet his shot in the air when he go to shoot it. Yeah. But instead, he's trying to go pound for pound. And then one one shove from Joker, AD going three or four feet back and it's too late. You already cooked. He going to be in the motherfucking wheelchair with a a head injury. Rondo. Rondo's value could be seen right here. Defensively, anyway, because yeah. Rondo ain't looking to score. Nah. I got Murray. Yeah, and Rondo's gonna stay with Murray all night long and get in his back pocket. So little things like that matter. Who else was on there? Danny Green. Danny Green. Yep. Um, another, another defensive player, and he can shoot open shots. Uh, to stretch the floor. That's what is missing in this series, in my opinion. And Kuz, I'm gone. Kuzma. He was still there. Uh, Somebody to stretch the floor. Another Carl, person to KCP stretch the floor was there. That's why I'm like, Beasley and them, this is the series they should have been playing. Right. Because now they can't pack the paint and stay home, and LeBron and them can get to the rim. I hate that this conversation went where it did. It, it went a little bit longer than I expected. <laughs> I'd have missed the whole first quarter. But these are the conversations I love having. LeBron got 12 already. So then, look, here's the part that I do hate. He's going to do all of this, and then come third quarter, he ain't going to have no legs. Uh-huh. He's doing all of this, and the game's still tight. Look, one last point, I'm gone, I promise. I hate this. They showing him in the gym, shooting all these damn threes. He's on Instagram. Bro, you doing all that, and it don't carry over to the game. Save your damn energy <laughs> and just shoot him in the game. Like, what good is that if it don't carry over, in my opinion? LeBron got 12 points, and they only up by two. That's crazy. I hope my guy don't go out tonight, dog. <laughs> Keep hope alive. Lakers yeah. in seven. Well, yeah, we we gone. We gone. Lakers tonight. in seven, man. We out. We gone. Hands toasted. Yeah. No competition. Unleash yeah. coasting. Yeah. I feel so high. I feel so live. My body.